7 Effective Ways to Increase Your English Speaking Power Number 1. Decide on an accent and find out your learning style. You can either choose among the most common accents. British and American are the most common accents. The most evident difference is how the letter R is pronounced. In British English, when R comes after a vowel in the same syllable as in ka, hard, or market, the R is not pronounced, whereas in American English, the R is pronounced. Number 2. Learn short phrases instead of words. It helps you in connecting your thoughts and voicing them out, like daily life conversational phrases. For example, when responding to bad news, you can say, That must have been awful. Please accept my deepest sympathy. If there is anything I can do, just let me know. Learning a few phrases gives you the ability to have an auto-response when a situation arises. Number 3. Talk slower. You are able to avoid rambling or rushing through sentences allows you to form a well-thought response. Your speech becomes clear and confident. It helps you in avoiding mistakes and repetition of words. Number 4. Practice with confidence. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Join a chat group or get a mentor. Talk to yourself in English. Converse daily with friends or peers. Repeat what you hear. Record yourself. Correct your tone and pronunciation. Number 5. Pronunciation and form. Observe how native speakers pronounce certain words and frame their sentences. Sound the words out. Check how the word rolls on your tongue. And eventually, you'll decide if it sounds right or not. Number 6. Variation of tone. Your tone clarifies and conveys meaning. Helps express your thoughts, attitudes and emotions through your tone. We can't always speak in a flat tone. Therefore, the rise and fall in our voice creates a variation in our pitch. Number 7. Read aloud anything and everything. Books, shampoo bottle descriptions, the ingredient list, instructions, names of brands on billboard, comments under posts, subtitles of movies, etc. Tip for practicing. Now imitate the last slide just like me, as in you're practicing from a script for a role in a movie. How would you deliver the dialogues? 